Hey y'all, Charlie here. So I have a crazy story for you today. So let's get to it. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba. The year was 2011. The idea of Cheetos for president was unheard of. I was trying to impress this guy. And so I decided one night he was too afraid to come into my house. He was afraid just being near my house because we kind of like had a thing going and neither of us were openly gay. Not a good time, Sergeant. It's a dark world out there. So he's wanted to take me in his car and drive somewhere. That sounds really weird, but that's what he wanted to do. And so I asked my dad and I said, can I go? And he said, no. And I said, please. And he said, no. And I did it anyway. So I open our very noisy garage. I sneak out. We drive into the back woodsy part, we park our car, it's facing this house, and, and we're just sitting there and talking for like a half an hour. The house in front of us that our lights are pointing, these wooden gates open up, and the car drives out, and it starts driving towards us, and slowly you get the feeling that like, they're actually going to address us, which is really weird, because we already have this fear that people were going to get caught, you know, for being gay, noodling, or whatever. Canoodling. It's the name of a cookie. Canoodling. <laughs> <laughs> the car comes out, and the car eventually pulls up next to ours and rolls down the window, and there's this woman in it, mid-50s, it's a super beat-up car, rolls down the window, and just starts trying to talk to us, not making any sentences, just like kind of gibberish. Eric just starts driving away, and I'm like, oh my, oh my god, Eric, we have to like, talk to that person. And he's kind of like, no, no, I don't, I don't think we should, and just keeps driving on. And I look up behind us, and as we're driving away, that car is turning around and following us. And so Eric Eric starts accelerating and I'm getting a little freaked out here. I'm like, oh, this is scary. I should not have snuck out. This is not a good idea. Eric's not listening to me. The faster that we go, the faster that she goes to catch up to us. The faster that we start driving, the more my anxiety is going through the roof. Eventually, she passes the yellow line and pulls up beside our car. Her window is pulled down and she's yelling at us. So Eric floors it and we start heading downtown. Eric is going fast. We're probably going like 70 miles an hour and she is still on us. She is not giving up any length. I'm still freaking out. We're like halfway to downtown and we get to this point and she passes us and gets a little in front of our car and puts her car at an angle trying to block us from getting through the road. So Eric slows down and waits there and I can see her like ruffling around in her car and I think like, oh my god, she has a gun. I'm going to die. This is the end. Am I okay with that? <sighs> a little bit. So she opens her car door, gets out, and starts walking towards our car. And Eric slams and goes around her. We eventually get to the downtown Safeway, and we cannot see her car. And Eric decides to park behind Safeway. To hide, essentially. And we pull in the Safeway, park behind, turn off the lights. At this point, I'm definitely regretting leaving my house. And eventually, we see a car coming out the back of Safeway. And it's driving towards us super slowly. And I'm like, oh my god, is that her car? Oh my god, that is totally her car. Oh my god! And we start driving away, and she hit the back of our car. And that is a moment when Eric's like, call 911. Two o'clock in the morning, we are speeding around the Duval Safeway, and Eric floors it back up the street. I'm on the phone with 911, and I'm like, hey, someone is chasing us, they hit the back of our car, and they are crazy. And they're like, if they hit the back of your car, they probably want you to pull over to get your number. And I'm like, no, like, they're crazy. This is not normal. And we just keep driving, and my heart is pounding super hard. But eventually we get away, and we get back to his house, and we're safe there. I need to get driven home, and instead we took his Honda Accord, and he drove me back really safely. Moral of the story, don't give in to the peer pressure of trying to sneak out if you don't want to. Stay in and be fun by yourself. I'm fun. Of course you are, Charlie. Whatever makes you sleep that night. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. I think I have a pretty boring life, but that moment, that wasn't boring. I lived on the edge. I'm good for life. I don't need to do anything that takes a risk ever again. I can just sit on my couch at home watching Netflix. I'm good to go. So that's story time. I love you guys. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and go check out my other videos. I am posting every Friday and I'm going to try to start posting once during the other part of the week. So at least like two times a week. I love you guys and I will see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. We represent the Lollipop Guild, the Lollipop Guild, the Lollipop Guild. Slow down a little bit, this isn't a race. She may want to kill us, but I do want to live as well.